I am Anil Kumar and here is a very important question. We need to find exact value of 4 times cos of 11 pi by 12. You can pause the video, copy the question, solve and then look into my suggestion. Now when we want to find cos of 11 pi by 12 times 4, let's figure out what is this equivalent to. So in the coordinate plane, cos of 11 pi by 12 means that the principal angle is kind of here. That is the position. 11 pi by 12. So, so theta here is equal to 11 pi by 12. Now what is this acute angle beta? Acute angle is pi by 12, right? So that is one thing. Second thing is you can apply the cost rule and as per the rule, you know, cos is positive here, right? So cos is positive. All are positive in quadrant 1, sine in 2, tan in 3. Cos is positive since x coordinate, right? So is positive. That is why. So we can write 4 cos 11 pi by 12 as equal to 4 cos pi by 12. You get the idea. Acute angle is pi by 12. Cosine is positive. So, cos of 11 pi by 12 is same as cos of pi by 12. Right? So, that is first thing which you should do. So, find the related acute angle and relate your expression to related acute angle. So, that is the first step. So, we got related acute angle here. Okay. Now, second part is that we really don't know how to calculate pi by 12. But what we know is that cos of 2 theta is equals to 2 cos square theta minus 1. So that is the double angle formula for cosine 2 theta, right? You can rearrange this formula. So we get cos of 2 theta plus 1 is equal to 2 cos square theta. And from here, we can rearrange and say cos 2 theta plus 1 divided by 2 is cos square theta or cos theta is equals to square root of cos 2 theta plus 1 divided by 2. Whenever you do square root, you have to do plus and minus. So this is a standard formula, right? So I've just derived it for you. But you could use this formula directly also. Okay, now how does that help us? Let us see that part now. Now, the idea is that we don't know what pi by 12 is, but we know what cos of pi by 6 is, right? So, in our standard triangle for pi by 6, uh, the sides are 1, 2, square root 3, and we know cos pi by 6 is square root 3 over 2, right? So we can use that information to further solve and find the exact value of 4 cos 11 pi by 12. You get the idea, right? So now what we will do is we can we will use this formula. So that's the formula which we are going to apply. So if my theta is pi by 12, let us say if I write theta equals to pi by 12 in this equation, then what happens? Now, uh, one thing is very clear. We are looking for a positive value. So, so we will write positive here. Let me take it to this side, right? So, I am writing theta equals to pi by 12. In that case, cos of pi by 12 is equal to, so we will replace theta with pi by 12. And we are taking positive sign because we are in quadrant 4. Square root of cos of 2 times pi by 12 plus 1 divided by 2, right? What do we need? We need 4 times cos pi by 12, okay? So in that case, let me multiply both by 4. So what I will do here is, I will write, okay, we will go one more step here. We say 4 cos pi by 12 will be equals to 4 square root of, so you multiply it by 4 on both sides. Right? There is no need to write positive, but that is just to show you. 
Now, cos 2 times pi by 12 is indeed cos pi by 6, right? Plus 1 divided by 2, right? That is how it turns out to be. So, 4 cos pi by 12, the value which we really need, since this is equals to 4 cos pi by 12, right? We could write this as cos of pi by 6 is square root 3 over 2. So, we'll write this as square root 3 over 2 plus 1 within square root like this. Now, that is equals to 4 times square root. So, we can take common denominators. We get square root 3 plus 2 divided by 2 times 2 is 4. Now, square root of 4 is 2. So, we get 4 over 2 square root of square root 3 plus 2 and 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2. So, we get 2 times square root of square root 3 plus 2 as our answer. Do you see that? So, we can now write down our answer and that is 4 times cos 11 pi by 12 is equal to 2 times square root of square root 3 plus 2, right? So, that is the answer. And I hope you understand the steps which we have followed to get this answer. So, that is how you should be solving it. So, initially, write down the given expression as with reference to acute angle and then use your formula directly. You need not derive as I have done here. This is just to, you know, show it to my subscriber that this formula can be used if you don't know about it and that is how we derive it and then use cos of pi by 6 to get pi by 12. That is how it could be done. This is very important from test point of view. Go through it once again. Try to understand. Thank you and all the best.